Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast, episode number 365. Larry here. And Anthony here. And what is going on, sir? Uh, what isn't going on these days? I don't know. It's uh, it's spring. You think? I, are you I, sure? No, no, I'm not sure because um, I'm hearing we got somewhere between like eight and eleven inches of snow yesterday. <laughs> you up where you are? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! No, it's been it's been like in the twenties yeah. down here on Long Island. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's uh yeah it's like fifteen degrees outside right now, which means all that snow is now ice. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Um I went I went out yesterday. Um I thought it was kind of funny because every once in a while I get like a uh I'll get like a, a hankering for something and it pushes me out the door. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> and I really and and I was my uh and my back's been bothering me lately. I was miserable. I was like I want an iced tea. I don't care if I die getting it. So I got in my car and drove. <laughs> and uh, this is Dunkin Donuts nearby. And I like the oh. iced tea. I heard so I went and I, about it. Yeah. yeah, I went and got the iced tea, and the guy gives it to me, and I, I give him my card. He's like, "No, no, no." He's like, "Don't worry about it." Whoa! And I'm like, Are "You sure?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "He's like, please just make it home safe because it was really <laughs> snow." <laughs> <laughs> Here's a complimentary Sherpa to get you back yes. home. <laughs> exactly. It's it's like uh, I would have I would have probably had a better shot getting there like in like snowshoes or like t- you know the tennis rackets on my shoes, whatever. Just, like, you, you just hook like sleds to the two yeah. cats and just be yeah, like, like no. it, it, like it would have been my Lord of the Rings. Like, <laughs> like I got to get to Dunkin' Donuts for my iced tea. Um, but yeah, but it, yeah, it's it snowed all day yesterday. There's a, it, it looks beautiful outside. Oh, it usually um, does. Yeah, yeah, when it it snows. looks beautiful, but it's freezing out. So uh, very happy I'm indoors. Not for nothing. I love that weather, but not when it's supposed to be spring. I'll take it when it's supposed to be the winter. So. No, no, no. I'll take it whenever I can get it. Give it to me in July. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not designed for heat. Though I might be soon. Who knows. Uh-oh. We'll see what happens. You getting? You finally getting air conditioning? I'm getting no, not that. <laughs> um, I, you... I have good air. So, all right, since you mentioned air conditioning, I just got to mention it on 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 YouTube. I don't know why one of I don't remember which episode it was. It's a very early, like 108, 109 episode or something mm-hmm. like that. Uh, but it keeps popping up in my feed for some reason, which is really weird. I'm like, all right, so I had to click on it. I, I think it was shortly after. Uh, we did an expo, um, actually in Brooklyn, we did an expo. Um, but <laughs> the my this is when I lived in the basement, and the air conditioner mm-hmm. was right behind me. And it must have been hot as Hades down there, because you could just hear like a oh, <laughs> of the air conditioner behind me. I don't know how nice. we didn't just stop and restart. Is, uh, did Michael Bay do it? No, it's... Um, okay. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's not Michael Bay. It's a guy who did... Who I think he directed Coraline. He directed he directed a lot of like the stop motion movies. Okay. Um, or he was part of those something because I know they showed Coraline. Like, hey, you know he directed something. Yes. Uh, I'll do a quick update. I'm I'm not getting into it. Don't get don't get me wrong. But because uh, when I did the the solo episode a few weeks ago about everything going on with me and my diabetes, um, mm-hmm. everything's going really good. I'll just throw a, a quick update to everyone out there. I'm down like 25 pounds. Wow. Like, the highest I've ever been. So um, it's congratulations. Wild. Thank you very much. That's fantastic progress. And the reason why I say that is because this shirt I'm wearing right now, which is a classic um, Super Mario Brothers character shirt, mm-hmm. which I've worn in the past and in the past has been very, very snug on me mm-hmm. um, today. Now it's just snug. Okay. <laughs> so but I'm very happy. And um, that's why I kind of broke it out. You haven't seen me wear this in a long time. Uh-huh. You're down 25 pounds. I'm down two and a half. There you go. Good for you. But your starting point, I'm sure, was way better than mine. <laughs> a, a, a tad. <laughs> a so, tad. Um, yeah, so going good. And uh, so that's that's good. I'm really happy to hear that. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. So um, good stuff. Wait, wait. Can you can can we uh, can we allot that to um, the ring fit adventure or the uh, Wii U or the Wii board? <laughs> No, you can you can chalk it up to Manjaro. Ah, uh, thank you, pharmaceuticals. <laughs> ah, very nice. Uh no, I haven't broken the actually I haven't done I haven't any. played that game yet. <laughs> or is that or is that a new character in Mortal Kombat? It's, it's, it's a hell of a character, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Makes you forget to eat. Um, but it's a hell of a wonder drug. Um but uh no, soon all uh, all joking aside, I, I this has just been honestly just changing diet and yes, the medication. But I am 
Now that the weather's getting better, I'm going to start walking and everything, which then will mm -hmm. also allow me in here to start incorporating more stuff. Uh, as far yes. as, yes, Ring Fit Adventure. I don't know about the Wii U. I, I don't even know if I still have the balance board. Yes, Beat Saber. Is. Yeah, but then I got to hook up my... my uh... It's worth it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, I can, right? Because PS5 has a... Uh, There's an adapter. adapter. There's an adapter okay, for it. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will. Yeah, I find so... Uh... Stupid camera, though. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Right. But in any event, or you know, you go go old school, get the track meet. <laughs> yeah, for any Pokemon Go, I don't know why I just don't have Pokemon Go. Po yeah, I, let me tell you something. When Pokemon Go first came out, I was walking all over California. Um, I really was. Yeah, oh, I believe everyone was. And the first week of Pokemon Go, I remember the biggest complaint. The first week of Pokemon Go is everyone complaining how tired they are. <laughs> yes, how <laughs> and tired they were, and then and then and then. Then there were uh, then there were um, news news pieces that came out where people like walked off cliffs and stuff. Like oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yes. no, the, the like literally level. walked off a cliff. I'm like, I don't, I don't. That that that's some serious gaming. Look, if the guy who invented the Segway, no, not Segway. What they call that thing? Yeah, Segway. Yeah, the so, Segway. Didn't he? Yeah, Segway. He, 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 fed, he drove he fell... right off the side of a cliff. Yes, he did. Yep. Yep. So that can happen. It can happen to anybody. It's very true. Ah, <laughs> uh, irony. <laughs> thou, thou art fickle <laughs> um so i haven't broke out uh, any of the um exercise equipment but i did break out a little bit more of my uh, i guess this term is lack of a better term minis mm -hmm. um i broke out another one and um I, I i'm unable to show it physically here because of the size of it but i'll put okay. a picture up um been a little while and i broke out my uh, capcom home arcade Oh, that monstrosity. I didn't, is, even I didn't even realize you still had it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Giant arcade stick for two players, which mm -hmm. is awesome. You know, they, together, yeah. it's one p unit. But I don't know who in Capcom R&D, when they were coming up with the design for this thing, yeah. decided to go, all right, we need to put something on. You want to go with a, you know, a matte black finish, or maybe like a two-tone, like our logo. Our logo. Hmm. How about we slap the logo on the unit and just cut it out the like the logo? It's die cut. For, yeah, it's a die cut Capcom logo. And, and it just says it's a as you'll see on the video. It just says Capcom on it, mm -hmm. and it is the most. At the same time, I, I, I'm going to quote Bart Simpson from, or I'll paraphrase Bart Simpson mm -hmm. uh, one time when he said, "I didn't think it was possible for this to both stuck and blow at the same time." Um, you know, the, the, the way it looks is a disaster, but the way it plays is mm -hmm. amazing. Um, 16 games on it. I actually did an unboxing when I first got it. Yeah, I remember that. I remember Years that. Ago. Yeah. Just going to run through the 16 games because one of which is the only, this is the only way short of like an emulator or a ROM, um, to play one of these games, but it's. 1944, The Loop Mansters, Armored Warrior, Capcom Sports Club, Captain Commando, Cyberbots, uh, Darkstalkers, e Echo Fighters, Final Fight, Amazing, Ghouls and Ghosts, Giga Wings, Mega Man, The Power Battle, Pro mm -hmm. Gear, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Strider, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, and the one game that's really only available officially on this unit, mm -hmm. the arcade version of Alien vs. Predator. Right. Which is kind of like almost like the game. That was kind of like the reason to get this thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a great game. ADP. So mm -hmm. um, I booted it up. Lo and behold, I didn't realize there was an update to it because it's Wi-Fi. Oh, oh yeah. well, duh. So I'm like, oh, maybe there's like a new game or something. Because sometimes that happens, a new game. Yeah, it does. Um, no, new, no new games, but just, you know, quality of life and everything like that updated. But, you know, to, to break it out, it reminds me of when my parents got me the USS flag, um, the, the giant gi joe um uh, aircraft carrier yes and they literally had to rearrange my room in order for me to be able to play with this thing they had to move my bed they had to move everything around i'm sure they highly regretted buying me this toy for christmas i'm sure they did um for me to have to you know to break this out to clear off the 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 uh the coffee table and everything but it was just so much fun to play and uh of course, I mostly played 1944, but Alien versus Predator. Oh my God, such an amazing arcade! Yeah, game. it's a fun game. So, um, so yeah, so I had fun with that, and um, I totally forgot. Never released here in the U.S., so I definitely had it imported, probably from England. 
But um, good luck trying to find a copy because this thing is, I think, pretty much nowhere to be found anymore. So, but that's pretty much what I did this week. Just broke that out and mm. um, yeah, really not much else. It's kind of a slow week this week as far as gaming is concerned. Uh, uh, yeah, gaming, gaming wise for me, there wasn't um, well, there there was a lot of gaming, but it was a lot of my familiar games because um, I needed I needed short things. <laughs> um, I needed short things to play for my own peace of mind because I was I was I was laid up with my back for a oh, few days. Boo. Um, yeah, yeah. So sometimes my back just doesn't want to work, um, <laughs> which is a great excuse to play video games. But at the same time, it's like my patience is like at an absolute zero. So it's like, what can I play that's not going to make me throw controllers? So, well, so. That, with your history, not much. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> so there was. Uh, there were a few uh um oh um the WWF Legend 64, the one that yes. I told you about. Yes. I I did I did um I did play a little cool. bit of that and it's awesome. That was the Royal Rumble mode. The Royal Rumble mode is great. What I recommend is not watching the Royal Rumble <laughs> mode. I recommend taking part in it, but do not watch it. Because <laughs> I did one, I did one where it's just like, oh cool, I'll just I'll set up an old school rumble and yeah. watch it through. Um, and it took like over two hours. <laughs> awesome. And I was like, wow. I was like, I could have watched like a whole pay-per-view. Wait. Um, in that <laughs> and that's time. just one rumble. It wasn't like a men's rumble and a women's rumble. It was just one Royal no, no, rumble. No, 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 no. There aren't, they, they, they didn't create enough women in the game to do a women's rumble. <laughs> Fair. So, um, but uh, in fact, I think there were only two women in the game. That's yeah, it. and I think they're both his managers. Uh, it's oh, okay. just Sensational Sherry and Elizabeth, I believe. Fair, okay. Yeah, uh, Sapphire might be in there too. Sweet Sapphire, sweet Sapphire. So, um, so played a little bit of that on my uh, PC because it's a free downloadable game that somebody yeah. created. It was a fan made um, love letter to mm-hmm. um, '80s wrestling, '80s early '90s wrestling. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, and then there was a lot of Dead by Daylight this week um, because that was the game where it's just like. You know, I can each match is about 15, 20 minutes and <laughs> yeah, I can do that short, and reset. Yeah. yeah, I can do that and reset uh, a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom. But uh, I mean, very little because I would like complete one side mission and then shut it off because <laughs> I was just like literally like I had no patience this week. So it was like I was trying to play super quick and quick and fast uh, games. And you're so, picking games that aren't necessarily quick and fast. I mean, Dead right. by Daylight, yes. Yeah, but that's why I mean, like, I would do something like play like 15, 20 minutes, and then I'd have to, and then I'd take a break. You got to get those glasses they sell. Not not like the the the, the Apple um, Vision Pro. Not that, though. That's mm-hmm. awesome. But, like, they sell glasses that, you know, they look like regular sunglasses, but they do hook up to, like, your TV or a video game system, and they just, you lay down on your bed. And then mm. you just play. It's like it, they say sometimes it's like having like a hundred foot television screen in front of you. Oh, that's so, cool. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I didn't have a problem in front of my TV because like I, you know, my couch is a recliner. Yeah. So you I get was the just... angles if you're laying down. You got to get the angles. Yeah, true. So, um, well, that's something to think about for the future. <laughs> Although I'd like to think that I don't want to, you know, I don't want to become an invalid so that I need those. That's a good, uh, that's a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Good reason. So, uh, so that was really it. Uh, for my uh, for my gaming stuff, there've been there've been so many games though. I have to say, like, um, I keep looking at my collection now that I have it out. Oh yeah, right. You know? Now that I have it out, and I'm slowly adding everything to the Poly Mega. I have so much that it's taking. Still me a not while. done with that. Interesting. Okay. No, I haven't had time. I am. You know, I was. Just, you... Don't forget, I was just gone for two weeks. This is true. <laughs> Very you know, true. I was traveling. So whoever's watching, whoever's yeah. watching your house, tell them to load up the poly. Mega. Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, when you come to watch the cats, <laughs> I need you to do something else while you're here. And if you break it, you buy it. Yes, yeah, so if you break <laughs> it, you buy it. It's only eight hundred bucks. There you um, go. So yeah, so no, I'm still transferring to the poly mega. That's just a slow going process. Right, fair enough. Um, I'll eventually get it all done, and by the time I get it all done, there'll be a new system that comes out to do it too. Hundred percent. Uh, and I'm still thinking about what's going to be next. Um, um, I'm, I'm nope. I'm very happy. I'm sticking with that poly mega. <laughs> no, I just uh, meant like whatever, like the next oh, system got it. would be. Oh, whatever. but I did buy. I did buy two games oh. uh, this week. Okay. Uh, but uh, new games, not uh, not old. It's fair. Stuff. Um, I picked up uh, because we're you know or we're on the road to WrestleMania. Yes. And although I don't really watch wrestling all that much anymore, this is the season mm-hmm. that I that I will pay attention. <laughs> so it's gonna um, be a good one too. Uh, yeah the 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 card looks really good. 
Um, so I did pick up, um, I picked up uh, WWE 2K24. Yes. Okay. Which I just installed last night. Like I'm not even kidding you. I didn't even have the patience to install a game. <laughs> and I, I literally threw it in and like hobbled away from my television yesterday. <laughs> I said, go do, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> um, so I just got all that installed. And then I went through the, my faction tutorial and i, I no did that idea. too yeah i have no idea what's going on not a clue uh, nope so uh yeah game uh, look uh, wrestling games to me are i just want to turn them on and play i don't want to learn about look there's a new card based system and there's all of this stuff and i'm like nope let me just play i'll do my i'll do the gm mode type of thing once in a while that looks I, fun yeah i, I do yeah. want to try that yeah I, I, you know because that brings me back to like when when we used to use tnm oh on the yeah PC. Yes. yep and i know we showcased that a, f- a couple months ago no yep. um but uh yeah so i like i like that type of stuff but at the end of the day it's like i don't want to like I- i'm not really interested in like card based games or things like that it's like i just want to play so um uh so yeah so i installed that but um earlier last week i picked up aew fight forever yes How's um that? and um I- i've never watched their show okay. but half the roster is are people i know so oh yeah like, yeah yeah so it's like, okay, so, yeah plus um aew specifically went out and got thq who yep. did probably the best wrestling games ever made which are the wcw and wwf games of the mm-hmm. mid to late 90s yep. on the n64 so coming in i had high hopes for this game because i was like okay i go if it plays anything like those it'll probably be one of my new favorite games <laughs> um and i i'd like to just say officially it does um excellent, it, excellent. It play, you know the 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 control scheme is almost exact to what the n64 games were okay um it play and it plays just like that it's super fun um and it just yeah it just brought me back i'm like if they if they made games like this like if they made no mercy style games for every wrestling game moving forward I'd be perfectly happy. I was like, it's easy to, it's easy to understand. Mm-hmm. Um, it plays really well. It's super fun. Um, yeah. Just no complaints there. And then, you know, um, compile that with the uh, legend 64, which I just found on, you know, which I found on, on mm-hmm. the PC. I'm like, I'm in like wrestling gaming heaven now with all these wrestling games. And then wait till next year when ultra pro wrestling uh, drops, mm-hmm. we were just talking about before we started recording, I backed it on Kickstarter yeah. and um, they're getting a ton of legend, legit legend. I'm not going to rifle all of them, but the British Bulldogs demolition, Paul Ondorf, just to name a few, Matt Cardona recently and the Motor City Machine Gun. So I I think these companies are, are realizing, well, not 2K, but a lot of the other companies are realizing, you know, where where the bread and butter was back in the day and they're really trying to get back to it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I haven't bought, uh, I haven't purchased fight forever yet. Uh, but now based on your recommendation, I definitely looking forward to it. Um, so, uh, cool. Sounds good. And I will say this, the one game I have been playing this week has been Contra operation Galuga. Oh yes. Oh my God. Chef's kiss. Um, game is phenomenal. And then just real quick, I don't know why I didn't think of doing this when I first put the game in. I've had the game, I don't know, it's been out for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. I don't know, something like that. It never, and I got it on the PS5. It never dawned on me to try and put the Konami code in. Oh, of course. I don't know why. It just, why wouldn't you? I, I don't know. I Probably because I figured it's 2024. What are they going to do with the code? I, I don't know. Give Whatever. you more lives? Hold on. So online, then they put like way forward or Konami. It's mm-hmm. like we have an, uh, a transmission interrupted or whatever. It's a secret code. And it's, you know, it's the code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. And then someone someone posted either a meme or a post underneath it, just like putting it like like brackets or whatever, going, you know, staring at dual shock. Don't know what to do because there's no B and A button. There's no BA. And I'm sitting there and I'm going. What the hell do I use for BA? XO. No. So well, I that's what I thought XO, but then I went online and I had to search it because I tried my best. It ended up being square, square, square triangle, square cross, square square S. cross. So um, so I'm like, why didn't I even try that? But you do it. It's very cool. It does unlock this perks in the game that you can purchase. Okay. Not real money with points that you get, yeah. and one of the perks is. 
you can unlock it's like 5000 points uh, but you can unlock 30 lives which i think becomes permanent mm. um if you do that and it also unlocks um um music alternate music oh, okay not only from not only from contra from castlevania and from something else i can't remember but the game is a it's a must purchase now i'm telling you it's still on sale for a little while uh meaning like i think it's like 10 percent off so okay. uh, i highly recommend that so all right Cool. It's definitely one I have on my list. Uh, the The reason why I never, I don't always jump the gun and buy things right away is because I don't know. I know I'm not going to play them right away. No, I get it. Plus, the yeah. physical. I mean, you buying the because the physical copy is available through limited run, and those are going to take forever to ship anyway. That's so, true. So you might as well, might as well put, purchase it exactly. I might as well put my order in now. It'll take exactly. eight months. So, all right. So with that, we're going to move right along, and uh, we're going to get into. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Let's get into game of the week. Yeah, we're going um, into game of the week. Because I was actually very, I, I, even though I picked it, I kind of forgot how fun this is. And it's been a long time since I actually played it. And of course, mm. we're talking about Metal Slug. Yes. Um, available almost everywhere. It's insane. But, um, and what was your um, thoughts on this? Do you even have a history with this game or anything? Like um, my, my history of it is about um, three hours old. <laughs> and uh, I I have never played Metal Slug before because um, I never played it in the arcade. Really? Um, no. Oh, I played no. it all the time in the arcade. No, nah, it was, you know, it, it it was a game that never really... Um, Stuck never, out to you? Yeah. Well, not only that, I don't think it ever, I really ever crossed paths with it. My Neo Geo exposure in arcades was very limited. Oh, me too. Don't get me so, wrong. I think it was like for us, we're going local buddies and probably... I don't even know if Funtime had a Neo Geo. I don't I don't think Funtime had a Neo Geo I and I don't so. remember um I don't remember going to Buddies and seeing one either. It might have been after I stopped going to Buddies. You know, maybe it wasn't Buddies. But maybe it was the else. one the Neo Geo that I remember, the Neo, the one Neo Geo machine I remember when I was younger um was either in the video store or the pizza store around the corner for me. <laughs> At one point one of them had a Neo Geo. Okay. I think it was the video store. Mhm. Mm um and metal slug wasn't one of the four games yeah which I, is, I find weird yeah i remember um king of monsters was definitely one of them because that was the game. one that was the one that i played all the time i love king game, of yeah. monsters so so no so i never had i never had experience with metal slug so um so this was a first play for me okay and i did it on my my fancy new which i just bought in december neo geo pocket ah, that i yes. picked up in singapore Oh, please tell me you played it on that. I did play it on here <laughs> because yes. I played it on there because I learned today that um, it has a mini HDMI and mm -hmm. I don't have that. So I couldn't hook it up to the TV. I had it all set up for the TV and I'm like, wait, this doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm Something like, oh, shrunk. Man. Yeah. I'm like, what happened here? I was like, they shrunk everything. So um, <laughs> so I just played it on the screen here, which oh, I um, can't imagine what it was like playing like that. Uh, I mean, I can, but. Annoying because I've told you why I don't own Game Boys and stuff like that. <laughs> um, Still a silly reason, but I accept it. Yes, I know. But uh, so I did play it on there. And I have to say, like, uh, again, going into it kind of blind, I knew it was like I knew it was a side scroller. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea it was essentially just a, like a just another version of Contra. If you. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it play it plays like Contra. Um, you run around, you know, you're running and gunning and you get power ups for your gun and different gun types and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But all in all, like, um, I only got through the first, like three levels, I think. So okay. I get, that's I not bad. Yeah. It's a tough game. Yeah. I didn't get terribly far and I was playing on a very small screen, which I didn't like. Um, <laughs> but I, ha yeah, no, I have to say I had a blast with it. Like, um, if I had it hooked up to a TV, I would have probably kept going and tried to play it all the way through. That's fair. I mean, that little, in, in all fairness, the the that little, not the screen, but just even the little controls is tough yeah. to play for a long period of time. Um, yeah, exactly. But I will say, like, it was a it was a lot of fun. Okay. The graphics looked really solid. Popped. Um, I I liked the um I liked the different gun variations. Mm -hmm. Um, those were really cool. Um, the, the one thing that I did run into, and again, this is just type, like if I play it longer, I'll understand it. Like there's a, I think it's on level two where 
you're on a bridge, but then boats are coming underneath. Oh you. yeah, I like and that. So, yeah. so, so I I kept dropping down to to shoot mm -hmm. at the boats to make the boat sink. But then when the boat starts to sink, I can't find a way to jump back what? up. So then I die. So I go, <laughs> I go, I go that, down with the more... ship. It was like it was yeah. like Titanic over and over again. <laughs> just sit, just going straight down. <laughs> exactly, and, um, and that's what kept happening. So like, I, but again. It it could pop, you know. I I was just assuming like if it was on a bigger TV, I'd probably be able to did, see how to get up there. This is the so exact small. same thing. The yeah, this is so thing. small. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, like uh, it it instantly gave me that contra feel, which was a great thing. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I definitely want to play through it again. My only gripe with it, if I had to pick one right now, and again, it's kind of uh, like I don't feel like I've played it long enough to give a full mm -hmm. full review for it mm -hmm. even though i know these are supposed to be our game of the week reviews <laughs> um my one gripe with it is it feels too much like contra so like it almost feels like just a contra really? ripoff like a neo yeah okay. like right now it just feels like a contra ripoff for neo geo mm -hmm. um and that you know and again there are worse things you can say it's an homage uh, even though uh, they didn't plan it to be that way <laughs> but, but that's exactly what it felt like and i'm just like yeah i was like okay but Still super fun, and I'm sure you can say that about a number of Contra-like games. Oh, yeah, and I feel like, you know, kind of like how, like, Metroidvania became the title because yeah. of how popular Metroid and Castlevania were. Like, yeah. a Contra-like game is just, we do that because Contra is so popular. And yeah, exactly. So good. Like, I get what you're talking about. Go, yeah, Contra's the one we go back to for those type of I games. I mean, it's a, the genre is run and gun, so that, you know what I yes. mean? So it is mm -hmm. what it is. Uh, but nevertheless, all right. Um, love that you played it on the, on the little uh, Neo Geo. Just to let mm -hmm. you know, and this uh, runs through March 28th, and uh, for five bucks, I would tell you, just go and buy it. The Metal Slug Anthology on PS5, well, PS4, but you can play it on PS5. Oh. Um, it's normally okay. 20 bucks. It's down to $5, and it has Metal Slug 1 through 6 plus Metal Slug X. Okay. Um, which is... well, after we're done recording, I'm doing some purchasing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because I really want to play. I really do want to play through it. So. Yep. Yeah. So definitely, or buy a mini HDMI wire. But if you buy a mini HDMI, because this is how I played it. I have it hooked up over there, so I'm not going to show it. But Anthony showed his. I played it on my Neo Geo Mini, mm -hmm. and I do have a mini HDMI adapter. I also have, which saved me a lot of time, the Neo Geo controller. Oh, very nice. That plugs into the Neo Geo Mini as well. Yeah. So this helped out tremendously as uh, as well. Um, but I, I did, because I have the Metal Slug Anthology for the Wii. Mm -hmm. So I did pop that in at first to play. Because uh, okay. you can use the, you can just hold the, um, the Wii sideways. remote sideways. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Wii remote sideways. Uh, though I, I couldn't figure out how to throw. You don't have the, you don't have the Pro Controller for Wii, uh, the, the no, Switch? No, I do. But here's the thing. It doesn't. Um, well, class, they call it the classic control, and I say that for a reason, because the North American version of Metal Slug Anthology did not have classic controller support. Yeah. The Japanese version or the European version did. We didn't. We had GameCube controller support for that okay. game, but I'm playing it on my Wii U, which as far oh, as the Wii U. Know, okay. does not have GameCube controller ports. Got so, it. And then with the Wiimote, you just shake the Wiimote and that throws your bomb, uh, your grenade, which I should have Got figured it. out. But in any event, I ended up, and just for fun, I ended up hooking up the Neo Geo Mini, played it off of that. Nice. And yes, the game is phenomenal. My, I, As much as I love shoot 'em ups because of Contra, I do love running guns. So I got a kick out of playing this game again. And I never, I've always played this game short spurts. Like I never sat down to play it. Even the, well, the arcade, I got my butt kicked all the time. Mm -hmm. As you're supposed to, because that's what keeps feeding the quarters. Right. Um, but I probably, and you'll see the gameplay this Thursday uh, when I post it, um, I probably got the furthest I've ever got in Metal Slug playing it this go around. Oh, nice. Very happy with Progress. it. Um, yeah, definitely. And, and, you know, makes me now want to go back and play it more. Um, and, of course, all the other versions of Metal Slug, like I said, there's seven versions on the anthology game. So, um, and not only that, but like if you say, like if you fall in love with the series, you mm -hmm. can get Metal Slug Double X. That's on the available on the PlayStation Store oh, right nice. now. And even I think a version of Metal Slug Three. So, cool. um, yeah, straight up uh, shoot them up. And you know, considering the fact that when I was a kid, I didn't have five hundred dollars to own a home console of the Neo Geo and a port of the game. None on of one it, of, none of us. Yeah, <laughs> the giant thing. 
So um, yeah. the and two that was a two or three hundred dollar cartridge. It legit was maybe like two or three hundred dollars. Yeah. But just to go over it real fast, how available this game is. Of course, it's available on um, you know, the arcade. It was also available. Here we go on Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, the Sega Saturn, the PlayStation, the Virtual Consoles, PlayStation Network, Windows, Switch. It's on like two or three different compilations, not even counting the minis, wow. um, which are about three or four different minis. In fact, mm -hmm. the only SNK compilation that I know of that doesn't feature any version of uh, Metal Slug is their 40th anniversary collection, which I find hysterical. Huh. That, uh, that game's not on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to say it's hard to find this game, that is not true. Yeah, exactly. Um, and like I said, for now, five bucks, totally worth it. Um, I love the humor of the game. Uh, it is very, you know, funny um, at, at points, uh, especially like uh, rescuing all the hostages. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Um, and I also love the, the it's a very small thing, but like you talk about all the different weapons in the game, uh, the machine guns, the shotgun, the flamethrower, the rockets. But if you want us, because all those have limited um, uh, ammo. But if you get up and close to the to the um, enemies, you just automatically slice them with a knife. Yes, I did like that. So that, that animation was, was cool. I always yeah. love and and the animation. Let's just talk about the yeah. animation. It just looks so. Be Wait till you see it on a full screen. It yeah. looks amazing. The animation. It runs so fluidly, uh, as you would expect from Neo Geo games. Mm -hmm. in fact. So I just love the look of it. I love the the kind of the the tongue in cheek of it at some points. Um, and of course, just run and gun being what it is. Uh, so very happy I, I, I picked this one and uh, I will be revisiting it. Like I have so far, almost all of these games of weeks that we've been doing. So, cool. um, with that being said, Ant, you're up next. All right, Larry. So it's my turn for game of the week. That it is. And as we know, as we know, we talked about it earlier on the show because we, we, we love talking about wrestling. Uh, next week is WrestleMania weekend. Oh yes. I can't wait. Uh, which I know you're looking forward to. So I am. Uh, so I think obviously I almost feel like this should be an annual tradition when we get to this week as uh, we got to talk. We got to we got to pick Work. a wrestling game. Works so I'm gonna, for me. So I'm going to pick a wrestling game for game of the week. Uh, and you might have to do a little legwork on this one. Uh, when I say legwork, I mean installation work because I am going to pick uh, WWF Legend 64, the fan made game. Oh, on the PC. our first fan made game and first PC game. OK. Yep. So, but it's really, it's, it's, it's based, it's no mercy. It's no, no mercy. mercy. It's just got a complete um, 80s, early 90s WWF overall. So All that right. is going to be our uh, game of the week. Uh, we'll include, uh, you know, for those of you who are uh, watching, just uh, there'll be a link. Yes. There'll absolutely. be a link in the, there'll be a link there for you to uh, go check it out. And if you want to download it and install it and play along with us, that'll be. That'll be fun. So Absolutely. yeah, but I'm curious to see, Larry, what you think of Legend 64. I will definitely uh, play that to my heart's content. Um, so all right, we're going to look forward to that. Yes, we'll have the link in the description. And you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity then for a cheap plug of my own, if I may, real fast. Go ahead. Uh, speaking away. of WrestleMania, um, I am, after WrestleMania or as of WrestleMania, I plan on bringing back... Um, my podcast talking more wrestling because it's just the 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 it everything's hot right now in wrestling and um i'm going to also bring back because a lot of people have mentioned it and asked about it so i'm going to appease some of you out there i'm going to bring back the live watch along that i did for wrestlemania um definitely night one um because i'm having a, a small get together for uh, night one um but i'll have a live watch along so uh I'll check that out just follow on my page at more 365 i'll start posting stuff on there so uh check that out and uh nice. by then i might also have a little more information about legends 64 there you go all right awesome. that sounds that sounds good yes all right with that let's get into it Ant. let's get into news yep let's get into our retro news for this week um got a few things all right. um so first off retro birthdays uh gonna go through these quickly um oddly enough uh no, no, no retro birthdays on console really uh, interesting week. yeah we, which is a first uh yeah. but again we we stick to the uh five year increments. exactly exactly so um there are plenty of birthdays on console just not ones we're gonna bring up <laughs> Uh, first one I'm actually going to start with is an interesting one, and I'm curious to see if you would consider this a retro game or not. Uh, -oh. uh, 2009, so it's the 15th retro birthday. Uh, it was the debut of the New York Times crossword puzzle on the iPhone. 
Really? Yeah. I didn't even know they had it on the i. I thought it was just still in the in the papers. Okay. It's been on the iPhone for 15 years. I was it's getting there. See to me like 20 is kind of the mark for me. Well, um, we we had we had selected 15 because we put 360 Wii and oh, PS3 okay. into I, the retro. That's why we that's why we added 15. I don't know. The time is just but sands in an hourglass for me at this yeah, point. Yeah, it, it's just because as we get then like, in that case yeah, yeah, three three genera. I think we go when we go back three generations, right? Because we have our current mm -hmm. generation, the last one, and then the one before that, we go retro. Well, shoot, if you're talking iPhones, forget about it. it's about twelve generations. At fifteen generations, uh, it's, it's fifteen generations. <laughs> so it's definitely a re it's definitely a retro iPhone. Yes. There's no question All right. about that. All right, uh, moving on to uh, 1999. Uh, this is the 25th retro birthday for a Star Wars game that, to my knowledge, only came out on Windows. Oh, um, I don't believe it ever came out on another system. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I am. <laughs> uh, Star Wars X Wing Alliance. Ooh. Um, Interesting. it could be it could be that a version of it came out on something else. But the research I did, it looked like it only came out on Windows. It's possible. A lot of a lot of Star Wars games just on Windows. Uh, yeah, we're on just Windows. on Windows. Yeah, so I think that, this is Windows only. Yeah. Yeah, this is Windows only. So this is the 25th retro birthday of that game. Okay. Uh, would be interesting to see that pop up in like a compilation of some kind since it hasn't been. There, they just released. They just did the Battlefront uh, collection. Yeah, I saw that. And Dark Forces. So yeah, so I think it would just be a matter of time before like, this winds up somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and then the last retro birthday to bring up. This is going back to 1994. Four, so 30th retro birthday for the Elder Scrolls Arena on wow. on DOS. Oh, you want to talk about old? Yeah, we're going. Holy we're going. Cow. We're going back, back. We're going back to pre Windows. Um, so Elder Scrolls Arena. I just wanted to bring that up because you know Elder Scrolls is still to this day in the conversations. You know, Elder, um, Elder Scrolls. Um, was it? Is it uh, five? uh I, yeah i, um, I want to yeah i want to say five yeah, like, like elder scrolls is still going strong so um no I six just, oh no six is on its way six is on its way yeah yeah six is on its way so elder scrolls still going strong wanted to give a nice 30th retro birthday out to elder scrolls arena if you've ever played that on dos would love to hear about your experiences on that one well right now you can download it i believe for free on steam there you go so Oh, wow. Then, uh, it looks really good, too. I got to get myself a Steam Deck. Yeah, uh, I might have to put that on my Steam Deck then and play. And it is so, free. Uh, yeah, so uh, is right. if it's free, it's definitely if it's for free, it's for me. <laughs> right. Boom. Remember that? All right. On to retro news. Yes. Um, I sent you this actually, I think, yesterday or the day before, Larry, just in our regular chat. Um, the Sims, right? The Sims. Yep. Everybody knows what the Sims, you know, the Sims <laughs> game is. <laughs> Uh, very, very popular series. It is now going to be getting a movie. Yes, it is. Look at everything. Live, we're getting a live action movie of The Sims. The producer that uh, the producer uh, producing company, I should say, uh, that has been found is Lucky Chap. Uh, and that is Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's uh, produ uh, uh, film company. Excellent. So she's going to be producing The Sims movie. Okay. Um, that'll be really interesting to see. I, If they're going to make a Sims movie. I don't want any dialogue. I want the bubbles over their head with the symbols. <laughs> Listen, if you didn't want Charles Montanay to play Mario for an entire movie, I don't know if you're going to get your wish again. I'm not going to get my wish, but it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> that it would be funny, least, though. It has to at least be in a scene. Yes. Like, that has to be one scene where they walk in, and it's oh, like they're they're in the hot tub, and you just see the, <laughs> the bubbles up top. <laughs> and a pixelated at some point. Pixelated, yes. yes. The pixelated thing. You need, and they all better have that. the things over their heads the whole time. Yes. Um, hey, you know what? Margot Robbie hit it out of the park playing Barbie. I can totally see her playing the lead. In oh, 100%. Series, so. She's amazing. Yeah, she's great. All right, moving on. Um, this is a, a little bit, well, kind of newer news. A little bit, but um, uh, Super Mario Maker on the um, mm -hmm. Super Mario Maker, a very popular uh, game on the Wii Great U, game. and then on um, the Switch. Yep. Um, so the Wii U's online um, online store, online ver uh, not online store, but online, Just online. Gameplay, yeah, yeah, online is shutting down on April eighth, right? Um, is it April eighth? I realize yeah. it's that close. Yeah, April eighth. It's coming oh. up. Uh, team zero percent. Which are which are very well. Uh, it's a, they're well known online. They're all about 
They're completionists. They're about completing everything in a game, right? Okay. They set out to complete every community made Super Mario Maker wow. board before the Wii U online closed on April. I sure 8th. hope there was more than one person doing that. They <laughs> find they just finally completed the last board called trimming the trimming the herbs <laughs> trimming the herbs. <laughs> it took them a while to finish. Um, and it was, um, at the end of the day, they completed over 25,000 unbeaten levels. Wow. Since last October. So within wow four and a half months, their team went through 25,000 levels that nobody else was able to beat. Good Lord. Okay. I was going to say, I, I I thought they were doing literally all of them. I'm like, there's more than 25,000, but yeah, I, I can hear yeah. 25,000 unbeaten levels. Yeah. So, well, right. I think, I think they might have beaten like all the beatable levels. Like they were, yeah. then they were taking off all these other all right, so the Congratulations to team 0% cool. for completing all the super Mario maker community levels. That Very that's nice. quite a feat right there. That is great. Game. Um, Moving on, the uh, the Nintendo Museum that is currently in I development in uh, Kyoto, Japan. Mm -hmm. um, it was announced in uh, 2021. It was supposed to be finishing up this month, March 2024. Um, they just recently announced that they are a little bit behind. <laughs> um, so the completion date will be April 30th. So at the end oh, of April, well, what, yeah, not far at all. Rugs at this point? Yeah, I guess so. So at the end of April, the Nintendo Museum will be completed and open for business in Kyoto, Japan. I am very, very excited about this because I believe I'm going back to Japan at some point this year. Ooh. So uh, there will be a trip to Kyoto. There will be a video then. Uh, there will definitely be a video yes. and I will probably get kicked out. Sir, <laughs> um, sure no videos. Well. Here I am with the Retro Gamers Podcast, getting arrested at the Nintendo <laughs> Museum. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. I hope there's a I hope there's a Miyamoto animatronic. Uh, awesome. All right, moving on. Um, another retro game that's coming to Nintendo Switch. Ooh. Uh, well, no, this one's already been announced. Pre-orders oh. are up. Uh, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Oh yes, yes. Um, that's coming out soon too. Uh, May twenty third. Yeah, they 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 announced the release date for that, and um, yep. we just mentioned too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there is a pre order bundle if you order it through the My Nintendo Store. That's been announced, and what mm -hmm. it comes with. Uh, this is the My Nintendo Store in Europe. Oh, okay. Actually. Okay. The My Nintendo Store in Europe. If you pre order the uh, Paper Mario game, you get a small buildable battle stage oh, it's awesome. kind of like it's kind of like one of those 3d um you know like a 3d card like a yep, 3d yep. mark card type of thing and it's got the full stage and it's got like two or three rows of audience toads oh wow um and then you have all the <laughs> and then you have all the characters on the stage it looks really really cool uh That's toads awesome. koopas and goombas are in the audience um yeah it's just really really cool so uh, cool. for those of you who like to get those little pre-order bonuses uh up oh, and there's the original I might have, that's the original version. i might there have pop go. that in before i get the new one i've never played paper mario and I've i played very to. i played very little of this one Don't uh drop. the original gamecube one mm -hmm. so we'll see nice um okay moving on uh a new trailer drop uh this game we brought up recently uh when they announced it because i thought it was kind of cool it's kind of um uh, it's kind of a parody of uh, Castlevania II Simon's Quest. Oh, yes. Yes. So yes. it's called The Transylvania Adventure of Simon Quest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they just dropped a trailer. It's coming out in 2025. And when you watch the trailer, there's definitely no question that this is a parody of <laughs> Castlevania II. Uh, looks really fun. Uh, actually looks really funny. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, here's uh, from the press release, just a little yeah, uh, little bit of the copy. Uh, the Transylvania Adventure of Simon Quest is a parody homage platformer set in a dark 8-bit world. Rival Stan Helsing robbed Simon of fame by killing Count Dracula first. Reclaim your glory by resurrecting Dracula piece by piece and slaying the Dark Count yourself. Sounds familiar. Yep. Except the whole uh, Van Helsing one up to you, and now you're like, nope. <laughs> I want that. I want that credit. Yes. Uh, so look for that in 2025. It looks gorgeous. Can, yeah, and you can check out the trailer. The trailer looks really cool. Yep. 
Um, switching over to Atari, uh, there are some really super rare Atari items currently up for auction. So, Larry, mm -hmm. I think you need to make some room in your uh, apartment. It's gonna be so tough. Um, so three of the uh, three of the uh, items that are going up for auction, uh, and this is gonna be at um, where's the website that's gonna be at I'm eBay. Sorry. Uh, no, no, this oh. is R R auctions. R so, R the letters letters R R R R auctions. Um, will feature uh, Atari rare Atari items, including there's also a bunch of Apple hardware, which you're probably gotcha. trying to go look at, like a functional Apple One computer. Oh my gosh! Um, iMacs, iPods, iPhones, but they're also selling. Al Alcorn's Atari Cosmos prototype. Really? Which never got released. Um, the original schematics for Pong. Ooh. Yeah, I like a good schematic. I, I would love to have that on my wall. And a working computer space arcade machine. Really? Which wow. Which is the very first arcade machine made. Holy cow. Um, so for those of you who like to collect and have a buttload of money, <laughs> and I and I don't because I checked my lottery tickets and I did not win Mega Millions oh, and I definitely please. did not win uh, uh, Powerball either. Honestly, what the deuce? No one has up to one point something. Yeah, I know. So uh, if you want to drop some major money on some old school Atari items, go check out RR Auction. <laughs> definitely check uh, that out. Uh, here's a couple of fun little things. Um, okay. For those of you who like to collect action figures, oh. uh, there are some video Nerds. game... Yes, there are. Yeah, I know, right? Um, not like those super losers who take their pop <laughs> figures out of their boxes. They um, look beautiful out of their boxes. They can breathe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we all know <laughs> plastic needs air. Um, so Sega is Sega? releasing two uh, two new action figures. Oh. And they're both very interesting. One of them is Altered Beast. It's the actual beast form mm -hmm. of Altered Beast, which is really cool. Okay. Um, so the werewolf from Altered Beast transforms into an action figure from Jax. Oh, it wow. includes a spirit ball accessory, and it will be exclusive at Walmart in the next several weeks. Okay. So if you happen to be at Walmart and you want to collect a uh, an Altered Beast figure, you can. Additionally, if you happen to like Streets of Rage, oh. there is an Axel Storm figure. Love that name. Uh, yep, Axel. Uh, I'm sorry, Axel Stone, not Storm. Axel Stone. <laughs> Even better. I said Storm. Axel Axel Stone is going to be released. Um, his action figure will come with a grand uppercut effect <laughs> awesome. accessory. So basically, it's the it's like a, a little flame for mm -hmm. his, to add to his fist for the mm -hmm. for the punch. Um, so again, uh, he's and these figures are fully posable. Uh, he's the Streets of Rage two iteration of him. So uh, okay. if you're Big Streets of Rage fan, you can go uh, check that out. Also at uh, also at Walmart. I think this is all going to be part of a series that releases. Oh, gotcha, the gotcha. Because the packaging for the two are the same. Okay. And I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I doubt they would only be releasing two figures. We may get some more news of uh, additional ones. All right. So we'll see. Check it out. Uh, so there's that. And then um, one. Uh, uh, okay. So I'm going to talk about this one. Mm-hmm. And I think this one, um, I like this story because it's going to lead us into a topic I think that we can talk about next week. Okay. Um, so somebody dug up an interview um, with Shigeru Miyamoto from back in 2013. Oh. Uh, this was around the time Pikmin 3 was being released for the Wii U. Okay. Um, and not sure exactly how it came about, but it was uh, a discussion about uh, it, uh, me like, uh, Miyamoto talked about like one, like the one bad game that, uh, like if he had, like, I don't know if he was asked it, but like mm -hmm. it, it came around to a conversation of what game did you make that you considered bad? Oh, wow. One of his games. Yeah. It sounds, it was one imagine. of his games, one of his games that he can't, that, um, and he admitted that he admitted was bad. Um, it's funny too because when he brought when what he brought up wasn't surprising to me, but it, it was the reasoning behind okay. why he said it was bad. I don't think he I don't think he necessarily is saying the game is bad. I'm I'm but, assuming he probably thinks whatever game I don't know what game it is, but I got to imagine it has to do with like having to cook 
uh, in the middle of gameplay and uh, have to like warm yourself or something with with spice. No, food? no, no. That's just What's that's this? just that's just you, you sad sack. Um, so <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> someone does not feel but, well and it's very but, cranky but, but i am very cranky um <laughs> but you're in, you're actually in the ballpark because the game that he picked for as bad was zelda 2 the adventures of link really specifically though specifically there, there's a caveat to this specifically on I mean, I the, fam, the famicom disc system okay and the reason why he picked it as like the worst game that he's ever made is because there were very long load times between you know when right. you go to the overworld yeah, and yeah. you have to go you transition or an enemy hits you and you go maybe. in i know you uh you have it right there maybe you? maybe i don't know uh i should have brought it i think i bought it for you at some point didn't i know i, I? Any point. Yeah. Uh, I, know I got no. you castlevania yes castlevania have on disc yeah so, but I don't have no, I don't have Zelda too. Oh, I bought Zelda for myself. I know how that. rude you never asked me for it because I didn't want it. <laughs> you never asked me for a disc system either. Uh, well, that might change when you go because I believe I can hook the disc system to the analog. Ah, uh, nice. So. Okay, so anyway, so he said the biggest so problem with it was like the, the load times were so long between mm -hmm. that it just made the, it just made the game like unplayable. Mm -hmm. Um, so it made me think of an interesting topic, which I would love to do next week with you, Okay, which would be, um, and this is diving into, you know, I'm sure we can come up with a million games, but like, you know, uh, maybe come up with like five games mm -hmm. where like games that are so bad that you wish they didn't exist. Oh, <laughs> no. wait a minute. So that is going to be, uh Oh, I pulled out my, uh. I pulled out my uh, uh -oh. headphones. You broke your headphones and we're right at the end. Yeah, too. too excited there. So um yeah, so I think like I'd love for us to talk about that. Like All games right. that were so bad you wish they didn't exist. I'm gonna try and pick like one from like a few different consoles. Oh, I gotcha. Um, okay. Um do we have uh, our full consoles um available? Because I, I feel like we shouldn't talk about any full consoles um for this topic. Oh, um no, I think I think that's okay. Okay. Oh. All right, well. we'll... We'll see. We'll talk more. Yeah, we'll talk more about that because, uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, you know, far be it for me to state the obvious, but the uh, you know, everybody already knows that. Ev. Anyway, um, and then the very, very last bit of news. Yes. Since you love to bring up the whole idea of games about cooking and stuff like that, <laughs> it just always behooves me. Um, it puts a smile on my face to tell you that the Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom just won two more awards what? at the 2024 Game Developers Choice Awards. Are these? Um, we're in March already. The end of March yep, for crying out loud. Uh, yep, it has been recognized for having the best technology and best innovation of any game over the past year. So, congratulations to Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom for racking up two more awards. Just awesome, this right oh. there. Uh, and that is the end of retro news. You're not feeling well, so I'll 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 give you that one. I will allow you that. Oh no, you'll give me everything. So, all right, <laughs> all right. Well, with that, we're gonna wrap everything up then. And Aunt, one more time, well, actually for the first time this episode, the first time they find us. You guys can find us on facebookcom slash podcast on Instagram at retrogamerspodcast on Twitter X. at retrogamerspod. You can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube and Spotify at Retro Gamers Podcast. And you can email us at email at theretrogamers.com. And speaking of X, we're very, we don't do a lot. We kind of let X go to the wayside, but not anymore. We're going to do more. We're going to promote more on X. So for those who are on X and they follow us, or if you haven't yet, definitely stop following us because we're going to do more on X. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And with that, we will wrap it up. Ant, have a, um, a healthier week. Oh, thank you. Well, you have a good week as well. And uh, next week, uh, we'll talk bad gaming and maybe we'll celebrate something. Maybe. I, I We'll see what happens. Yeah. We still have to get there first. Yes, and we folks, we'll catch you everywhere next week on the Retro Gamers Podcast.